Now, one of the nice things about an equation given in standard form is that it's very easy to see what its x and y intercepts are. If we have an equation given to us in standard form and we want to graph it, we should take advantage of that fact. So for example, let's say we have this equation, 5x minus 3y equals 15. We can find its x-intercept. Remember that the x-intercept is where y equals 0. When we plug that in, we'll have 5x minus 3 times 0 is 15. 3 times 0 is just 0. And we have 5x equals 15. Divide both sides by 5 and we get x is 3. Our x-intercept then is going to be at 3, 0. The y-intercept, that's where x is 0. We plug that in and we get 5 times 0 minus 3y is 15. 5 times 0 is just 0. So we're left with negative 3y is 15. Divide both sides by negative 3, and we'll get y equals negative 5. Our y-intercept will be 0, negative 5. The nice thing about having these intercepts is that it lets us plan a nice graph. We know we want our x-axis to go out at least to 3, and our y-axis to go down at least to negative 5. So we might choose this set of axes. Then we fill in our x-intercept. We fill in our y-intercept. And our line is the line through those two points. That's all there is to it. Here we have nice x and y intercepts. Sometimes all we want is just a really vague idea of what our equation looks like. We can make a very quick sketch using the x and y intercepts. So suppose we have the equation 5 twelfths x plus 11 fifteenths y equals 7 sixths. I know when I find my intercepts, I'm going to get unpleasant numbers. But let's just see what happens. I'll have 5 twelfths x plus 11 fifteenths 0 at my x-intercept equals 7 sixths. So 5 twelfths x equals 7 sixths. I can think of this next step as dividing or as multiplying by 12 fifths. And we get x equals 7 sixths times 12 fifths, 2.8, or writing that as a fraction, 14 fifths. Our x-intercept then will be 14 fifths comma 0. Our y-intercept, that's where x is 0, will have 5 twelfths times 0 plus 11 fifteenths y equals 7 sixths. So just 11 fifteenths y is 7 sixths. Again, we can think of this next step as dividing or as multiplying by 15 elevenths. We're left with y equals 7 sixths times 15 elevenths. Uh, 
it looks like 1.5 and then the pattern 90 repeating. Ick. Make that a fraction. 35 20 seconds. Our y-intercept is 0, 35, 20 seconds. Now, I don't really want to make a careful sketch of that graph. I definitely don't want to make a sketch where the x and y-axis have the same scale. And I really don't want to draw a y-axis labeled in 20 seconds that goes up to 35 of them. But here's what I can do. I notice that this number is bigger. I'm going to just draw a quick set of axes. And notice I drew the positive part of my x-axis slightly longer than the positive part of my y-axis. I'm going to label this point 35, 20 seconds, and label, oh, about this point, 14 fifths. And then I'm just going to draw the line through those two points. This is a quick sketch of this graph. We can see what the intercepts are. We can see the general shape of the line, right? We can see that it slopes downward. And for a lot of circumstances, that's probably enough.